Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and the same series that is Obsession Initiation Protocol Response Codes. So today I'm going to discuss about the remaining 4xx messages where I have already discussed about in the first part, second part, and now this will be the third part, uh, third part where I'm going to discuss about the call transaction doesn't exist, loop detected, too many hops, and all other 4xx, all other we can say remaining 4xx messages. And after that, I'm going to discuss about 5xx and 6xx messages in, in one particular video. So let's start it and let me share my whiteboard so that we can start it, right? So uh, as everybody knows, 4xx, we can say failure response, right? So, okay. So under this 4xx failure response, and now I'm gonna discuss, I'm gonna start with 481 which says call or uh, transaction doesn't exist. That is my 481. Then we have 482, which says loop detected. As the name particular says, there is a loop. Then we have 483, 483 is too many hopes. Then we have 484, it says uh, address, incomplete that means if the address is incomplete then it will not work then we have 484 ambiguous we are going to discuss about all these in detail 486 everybody knows 486 busy here which are these are very popular and then we have 487 uh request terminated error 488 not acceptable that is also a very good one not acceptable here usually i believe yes then we have 491 it says request pending and then we have the last one 494 where it says uh, security agreement required right Usually you will be able to see like 483, 486, 487, 488, right? These are the main messages, main response codes you will be able to see. But let's discuss about all these and one by one. It says, uh, first is 481 call or transaction doesn't exist. What that means? That means the request which is received by the server doesn't match with any existing dialogue or the transaction. That is why you will be able to see this 481 call doesn't exist or transaction does not exist. What this means is request received by the server, right? Request received by the server doesn't match with any, uh, we can say, with any existing dialogue or transaction. Then you will be able to see this particular uh, response code that is 481 call transaction doesn't exist right then we have 482 loop detected right for it then we have 482 loop detected message so 482 loop detected means uh, usually we can say loop has been detected by the server this is the simply the simple message uh, then response code says loop detected that means there is a loop already there and now loop has been detected by the server that's why it will send this 482 loop detected message next we have 483 too many hops that also the um, name indicates there are too many hops already there that means uh, here in this particular too many hops messages max forwards header has reached uh, the value to zero right the max forwards header has reached the value to zero that means you will get this 483 too many hops message because that is already uh, already completed that particular hopes which are in the max forward header field right then we have address incomplete that is 484 address incomplete that means server received a request with a request URI which is incomplete right your server let's say your server received any request received a request right where you will be having a request URI with a request URI but 
that is incomplete, right? Server received a request with a requested URI, which is incomplete. Then you will be getting this response code that is 484 address incomplete, right? And if you're looking for additional information, you will get that additional information in the reason phrase, right? What thing is missing? What thing is not missing? You will get all the things in the 484 address incomplete uh, uh, in the reason phrase actually, right? If you are looking for any training on SIP, then you can uh, come to this sipsense.com. So you can just go to Google and once you type sipsense, then you will be able to see the first link, which is sipsense.com. And once you scroll it down, you will be able to see three courses. As here, you can see SIP Basics, SIP Foundation, and SIP Advanced. SIP Basics is free of cost. And then we have the SIP Foundation and SIP Advanced courses. If you would like to purchase any of these courses, either SIP Foundation or SIP Advanced, you can use my uh, coupon code that is technical hyphen venture. And let me show you how you can enroll it. So once we click on this SIP Advanced, you will be able to see two courses again. That will, first one would be Enterprise, another one Enterprise plus SSC, that is SIP School Certification. Let's say I'm gonna click on this one, select, and after that you need to just fill out your details, full name, position, and all. And here you can apply my discount code that is technical hyphen venture. So once we apply this one, you will get a discount of 33%. And now your checkout value would be 201. Previously it was 300. Then we have 485 ambiguous. What that means? Request URI was ambiguous, right? Request URI was ambiguous and your response may contain a list of unambiguous addresses in contact header field. Whatever response will go, uh, let, let's say you are, you are getting this 485 ambiguous message. In that particular response, it should contain, response should contain a list of, we can say possible, uh, unambiguous addresses in contact header field. This contact header field is very important, right? I'm gonna discuss about all the header fields as well after uh, finishing these provisional cards or not the provisional cards. I can say just the all the response codes messages, right? That is 485 ambiguous. Then we have 486 busy here. What that means, this is very important. 486 busy, 487 request terminated, and 488 not acceptable, right? What this 486 busy here means? This 486 busy here means your call is end system was contacted successfully, first thing. It says busy here, that means it's contacted successfully. Call is end system was contacted successfully, but that particular callee, is unable or I can say it's not willing to or it's not able to take is unable to take additional calls at this end system we can say that is why it will get the for it will send the 486 busy here right in this particular thing 486 busy here you will have a response code as well that response may indicate uh it will let you know about the better time to call as well in retry after header field right retry after header field and user uh, might be available i can say user could be available elsewhere such as maybe we can say through the voicemail service as well right and you were having this 486 busy here as well in 4xx messages and uh, you will be having another one in 6xx, that is 600. You will get that 600 is actually busy everywhere. This is 486 busy here. 600 is busy everywhere. That should be used if client knows that no other end system will be able to accept the call. If no other end system is able to accept the call, then you will get 600, that is busy everywhere. But here, you will get 486 busy here. User, it says maybe uh, I could be available elsewhere. Maybe it's just a voicemail service as well. Then you will get this busy here message. Not busy everywhere. Busy everywhere is 600, right? Okay. After this one, we have 487 request terminated. 
okay for it is even request terminated we can say request is terminated by a uh, by or cancel request we can say request is terminated by a uh, by or cancel request correct and this response is never returned for a cancel request itself correct this response is never returned for a cancel request itself right then we have 488 not acceptable here right 488 not acceptable here message so it says the response has the same meaning as uh, we can say 606 it says not acceptable here but 606 says not acceptable right the response is the same meaning to that but it only applies to specific resource addressed by the request uri right it only applies to specific resource addressed by the addressed by the request uri right and the same request may succeed elsewhere as well correct it says not acceptable here not elsewhere then we have 491 request pending here requested server has pending request from the same dialog that's why it is sending the 491 request pending i can just write it down requested uh, we can say requested server has pending requests from the same dialog that is what is sending this 491 request pending correct for and then we have 494 security agreement required but that security agreement means security agreement required this 494 494 response indicates uh, your server uh, we can say has received a request that or we can say which requires a negotiated security mechanism right it requires a negotiated security mechanism and the response which we are getting in 494 that is a response code this response will contain it will already contain a list of security mechanism that requester is choose from that requester is to choose from right that particular 494 security agreement required messages server received a request but that requires a negotiated secure negotiated security mechanism and in the response it should list uh, it should list all the security mechanism that requester is to choose from right that is the end of 4xx failure response messages right in the next lecture i'm gonna discuss about 5xx and 6xx messages uh in in the same lecture i'm not gonna divide it into the different parts for 5xx and 6xx most probably it will be in the one part itself right so i hope you like this video you have learned something from this one then please hit like share it with your friends and subscribe my channel if you are new to this channel and please press the bell icon so that you will be able to receive notifications of all my upcoming videos. Thank you.